everybody, I'm here at the hangar, so let's chat. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of the ag planes in our fleet. I figured I would start with the smallest ag plane that we have, which is the Piper Pawnee. Our Pawnee is used to train our newer pilots, and we also use it for smaller fields where it wouldn't make sense to bring one of the larger turbine aircraft. Our Pawnee was built in 1963. It's powered by a six-cylinder Lycoming 0540 engine. It has a fixed-pitch propeller. It makes 235 horsepower. The other really cool thing about the Pawnee is that it's a fabric airplane. This plane in particular is covered and painted using AirTech coatings, fabric, and paint. All right, let's do a little walk around on the airplane. All right, here's that Pawnee, and we also have Hartzell the dog right there, and Zulu the corgi. So anyway, here's a better look at the Pawnee coming down the whole left leading edge here, left wingtip light. And like I said, this is fabric, so it looks and feels a lot different than some of the planes you guys might have seen before. You've got your ailerons, your flaps, and we'll take a peek into the cockpit here. Pretty bare bones instruments, just your airspeed, altimeter, compass, oil, pressure and temperature, tachometer, circuit breakers, light switches, starter button, ammeter, and on the right you do have your transponder. So pretty bare bones. All right, moving on, let's take a look up at the wing. So if we hop up on the wing, we have our fiberglass hopper, which is right in front of the cockpit. And that's what the inside of that looks like. I think the hopper on this is 150 gallons. We generally take about 100 to 120 gallon loads out of our airport. Right in front of the hopper, we have our fuel tank. So this little red cap is where you would fill your fuel. Right in front of that, you have your fuel gauge. It's a clear float type sight gauge. It's easily seen while you're sitting in the airplane. Right in front of the fuel gauge, you have your light bar. The light bar connects to the GPS, which is inside the airplane. I'm going to do an entirely separate video on light bars and GPSs, so that's all I'll say about that for now. So hopping down from the airplane, you'll see this little thing sticking out of the side of the fuselage, and you might go, what the heck is that? That's actually the little filler port that we use to load liquid into the airplane when we're doing liquid applications. It's a closed loop system, so we mix everything in a separate tank and then we pump it into the airplane with a hose that connects to this tube right here, and it pumps it underneath and up into the hopper. When we're doing dry, we actually load in the top of the hopper, but we don't want to do that for liquid, which is why we use that little filler port. Coming around, we have the side of the fuselage, elevator. Here's our tail section. You've got your elevators, rudder, and tail wheel. You've got your door over here. The cool thing about ag planes is that the doors open on both sides, so you can really enter or exit on either side. You've got your right wing dog, your right wing tip and light, right leading edge, landing lights, right main wheel and tire. Here's your cowling. There's that light bar again. You would check the oil through this little oil door up here, which I left open, so. And then we're back to where we started. So that's a quick walk around on the Pawnee. You also might see Pawnees used in glider towing and banner towing operations. This, if I haven't said it already, is a super versatile airframe. It can be used for so many applications. It's very capable as a, any kind of tow plane or utility airplane. Right now, the Pawnee doesn't have any spray gear attached to it, but let me see if I can find the booms and the spreader and show you what those look like. This is the Pawnee spreader. This bolts onto the bottom of the airplane. Let me give you a closer look. Here's a closer look at the Pawnee spreader. For those of you who don't know, a spreader is something that we simply attach to the bottom of the airplane that spreads or disperses any kind of dry product, such as seed or fertilizer, that we are applying. The spreader would be bolted onto the airplane, just as you see here. Where I am would be 
bolted towards the back end of the airplane, and up front would be bolted towards the front of the airplane. The way the spreader works is dry product will flow through the bottom of the hopper gate. The hopper gate opening is controlled by the pilot who is flying the airplane. Ram air would push through the inlet of this spreader, and as the granules flow through, they're pushed back through these spreader veins. Once the product is pushed through the spreader veins, it disperses and spreads out as it falls to the ground. The majority of ag aircraft spreaders work and function the same way. They may just look a little bit different. So that is the Pawnee spreader. Now that we've taken a look at the spreader, let's go take a look at the aircraft booms. Here's a closer look at the Pawnee spray booms. There's one boom under each wing. So all I did right now is just grab the left boom and place it on the ground, roughly in place of where it would attach to the wing of the aircraft. Left and the right boom would attach under the center of the aircraft. And those are attached by a series of hoses to the spray pump and pump fan, which you can see on that blue cart. Let's get you a closer look at that spray pump. I'm not quite sure if this is the right pump for this airplane, but I found this one and I put it on the cart and I wheeled it over here and just kind of mocked it into place. A lot of people ask, what's that little tiny propeller underneath the airplane? And that is simply the spray pump and pump fan. Looking from this angle, you can see the left hand boom on the ground over there that would be attached to the wing of the aircraft. That would meet the right boom underneath the airplane, and then they would connect to this spray pump and pump fan assembly. Now that you've seen the booms and the spreader, our Pawnee tour is almost complete. No tour would be complete without a little bit of footage of the airplane in action. That's going to wrap up our Pawnee tour for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. The Pawnee is such a great aircraft, not only for ag aviation, but other areas of aviation as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'm happy to get to them. Thank you all so much for being here and I will see you next time.